So you are new to trading and you want to understand the types of orders in trading. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you the different types of orders that you can place in trading and also what they mean and how you should use them. Okay, so in trading, there are actually uh, three kinds of orders, three main kinds of orders. Okay, you have the market order, the limit order, and the stop order. Okay, so I'll go through uh, step by step uh, what each of this uh, order means. Okay, I'll give you some examples as well. Okay, if you are watching our videos for the first time, make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, we have a lot of other videos like this, beginner friendly videos like this, to teach you the basics of Forex. Okay, to teach you how to become a profitable trader. Okay, so in this beginner's video, uh, I'll be talking about the market orders, the limit orders, and the stop orders. Okay, so these are the three kinds of uh, orders that there are out there. Okay, this doesn't just apply to forex trading, it applies also to futures trading, stocks, basically anything uh, that is being traded uh, in the markets out there. Okay, so understanding these three orders are very important, right? Knowing how to use them, when to use them, what they mean, right? Uh, could mean the difference between uh, entering the trade correctly versus you know entering the trade uh, wrongly okay and uh, if you enter the trade wrongly and uh, you do not even know it right you might lose money even though you, your, your analysis is right okay so that's not something that I want uh, happening to you so make sure you pay attention right uh, take some notes uh, if you need okay and uh, just really make sure that you understand the different types of orders okay so let's go through uh, what is a market order first okay so Market order means that uh, you are executing your trade at the current price. Okay, meaning that, uh, for example, the uh, euro dollar right now is trading at uh, 1.15820. Okay, that's the current trading price. Okay, a market order means that uh, you want to buy or sell at the current price. Okay, uh, of course, there is a buy, buying price and a selling price because uh, there's a spread. But uh, basically, a market order means that you are buying at the current price. Okay, what you see is what you get. Okay, sometimes you might even get a bit of slippage. But basically, uh, you, whatever price you see is whatever price uh, you're going to get. Okay, so when should you use a market order? Okay, uh, you understand the concept. The concept is very simple, but when do you use this market order? Okay, so you should be using a market order when uh, you want to enter at, at the current price, right? Because, you know, you are trying to catch a momentum trade, meaning that, uh, you know, price is moving and you want to get in fast. Because uh, when you do a market order, uh, you are guaranteed to get the trade at that price. Okay, meaning that uh, your trade becomes open and you have a running position. Okay, so you want to use a market order when you're trying to catch a momentum trade or price is sitting at a level which uh, you want to buy. Okay, so for example, uh, you predict that the support is at 1.1582. Okay, it's at this level, uh, 1.1582. And uh, you want to buy off support uh, based on your an analysis. Okay, then you click the market order. Okay, so that's how you execute a market order. That's what it is and uh, when do you do it. Okay, so let me show you... Uh, what the limit order is. Let's move on to what the limit order is. Okay, so looking back at the same, same example as uh, before, okay, just to keep them simple, okay, uh, earlier on I shared that uh, Euro dollar, for example, is trading at 1.1582, okay, so this is the current price uh, for a Euro dollar, okay, so what is a limit order? Okay, a limit order is when you are trying to buy or sell at a better price. Okay, better price means if you're trying to sell, you're trying to sell higher. So you can see a uh, price is at 1.1582. But if you want to sell at uh, 1.6, okay, then uh, you do a limit sell. Okay, uh, if you want to buy at a better price, then you do a limit buy, which is basically lower. Okay, so now you might ask, uh, why do I need to use a limit order? Because I obviously want to sell at a higher price and buy at a lower price. Okay. Now, the problem with using a limit order is that a uh, price might not go there. And if price do not go to that level, then uh, technically you do not have a trade. Okay? Remember earlier on uh, in the market order, I mentioned that uh, when you hit a market order, you are guaranteed to get a trade and you have an open position. Okay? But in the case of a limit order, okay, uh, you just place a limit here. So if you know price is over here right now and it goes something like this, okay, and it comes down, and it starts going up and it doesn't hit your limit order at uh, 
okay? What happens is that you miss out on this great trade, okay? This trade would have made you money if you have gotten in into the trade, okay? So that is the risk of uh, using a, a limit order, okay? It allows you to get the best prices, to get the uh, trade at the price that you want, okay? But it does not guarantee execution, okay? So in cases of, you know, uh, this kind of trades, momentum trades that I mentioned over here, okay? In this kind of trades momentum, uh, you do not want to be using limit orders, okay? You want to be using limit orders for your retracement trades, okay? When you're trying to buy at a good level or you're doing range trading where uh, you're trying to buy at the bottom of the range and sell at the top of the range, okay? So a limit order is also same as uh, the take profit order, okay? So con consider the fact that uh, if you buy over here, okay, let's say you're buying, okay? Uh, and when you buy, you need to exceed your position for a profit, okay? So basically, you need to sell. So a take profit level is, is really just a limit sell at a higher level, okay? So if you're buying 1.1582 and you put a take profit level at uh, 1.16, it is actually the same as a limit sell at uh, 1.16, okay? So earlier on, I showed you this uh, over here, okay? So normally, when you place an order, uh, you can put your take profits here, and you can put your stop loss here, okay? You do not need to create a separate uh, order to, to take profit or stop loss, okay? You just need to enter it uh, in this, this area, okay? All trading platforms work the same. Whenever you enter a trade, there is a stop loss and there's a take profit uh, option and you just put it in, okay? You do not need to have, uh, you know, a market order and then you put an unlimit order to get out at you know, to get out if your trade is right or if you are wrong, okay? You do not need to do that. So uh, please do not be confused about that, okay? So that's how you use a limit order, okay? I have some more examples for you, okay? Uh, now, if you are new to trading, okay, and you know, you are watching our videos for the first time, we have a free day trading guide for you. So the link is in the description, okay? That will help you get started in trading, okay? Uh, if you are watching this video, you're probably very new to trading. You do not know what to watch out for. You do not know anything about uh, how to trade. You do not have a trading strategy, okay? We have put together a very nice PDF with a cheat sheet on how to read uh, charts as well as how to read the market condition. So uh, you can download that, okay? The link's in the description. Just get that. It's free, okay? And also make sure you hit the subscribe button, right? Give us some love. Uh, show us that, uh, you know, tell us rather, tell us the challenges you're facing and we'll create more videos like this to better serve you and help you become a profitable trader, okay? Anyway, back to this topic about uh, limit orders. Okay, I just want to demonstrate to you, okay? Because just now it's still theoretical. So in this video uh, section, I want to show you, uh, you know, how it is done, okay? So assuming that price is trading over here at uh, 107, uh, 0.16, okay, uh, if you want to buy at a better price, let's say uh, you, you predict this as a support zone and uh, you want to buy it here, okay, because you see, oh, there's some form of market structure here and uh, you want to buy it here. So what you can do is just place a buy limit at uh, about this level here, okay. Conversely, let's say you are bearish on this market and you want to sell near the top here, okay, uh, you can do a sell limit, okay. So basically, buy or sell limit is you're basically trying to get in at a better price, okay. I'm going to repeat it one more time, okay? You are not going to uh, guarantee that you get the trade, but you will get the best price if, you know, your trade is being triggered, okay? If your order is being hit, okay? So, uh, this was, uh, so what I mentioned just now about um, the, the limit order, so being the take profit order, okay? Let's say uh, you entered here. This is a long position that you are taking and you have a stop loss over here and your take profit here, okay? means you are, you are buying here and you're hoping to exceed here, okay? Uh, if price hits your uh, level over here, technically it's actually a sell limit because uh, you are trying to sell uh, back the currency at a higher price, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. If something is not too clear, uh, just leave a comment down below in the comment section and I'll do my best to address it, okay? So this is the limit order. So now let's talk about the stop order, okay? The stop order, Okay, using the same example again, uh, euro dollar, uh, 1.1582. So uh, this is the price now currently, okay? Stop order basically means that you want to buy at a higher or you want to sell at a lower price, okay? Basically, it means that you're getting in at a worse price, okay? So if price is at 1.1582 and uh, you want to buy at a higher price, uh, that would mean you buy at uh, 1.16. 
So you are basically uh, putting a buy stop at this level, which is 1.16. Okay. Similarly, if you want to sell at a lower level, then it's going to be a sell stop at uh, the lower level. Okay. So you might ask me the same question as just now. You might ask me, why would I want to pay more for something? Okay. It doesn't make sense, right? You always want to be buying a something at the lowest price and selling something at the highest price. Why would you want to buy at the highest price? price and sell at a lower price it just doesn't make sense okay now you want to use a stop loss order when price is consolidating okay and uh, you want to trade a breakout okay so uh, it doesn't make sense for you to buy within a breakout anywhere because you're waiting for the breakout so what you can do is you can place a buy stop order above the resistance and you can do a sell stop order below the support okay so that if price breaks uh, you catch a nice breakout uh, be it toward to the upside or to the downside okay so stop orders are used when you're waiting for price to break a level okay uh, this primarily used in breakout trading okay but your stop order is also a stop loss order and this is very important uh, in trading you always want to be using stop loss orders you always want to protect yourself okay no matter you buy you sell whatever you do in trading always put in a stop loss order okay so let me illustrate to you uh, how this is done, okay? Uh, so earlier on, um, I gave you an example for the li limit order. Now I want to show you an example for the stop order, okay? So over here, uh, price is trading here, okay? So uh, basically a buy stop means you're buying higher. Let's say you, you are predicting that this is, the, uh, this is the high of the range and this is the low of the range. So you want to buy the breakout or you want to sell the uh, breakout. So what you can do is you can do a buy order higher or you can do a stop order lower. Okay, so that's how you use a stop order. Okay, but a stop order is also a stop loss order. Okay, so earlier on, uh, we looked at this example where you bought here, okay, and uh, you are taking profit here, but you're exiting at this level if you are wrong. Okay, uh, you figured that, you know, if price trades here, uh, you are probably wrong in your analysis and you want to get out. Okay, so if you buy here, you need to sell. Okay, so you want to sell out uh, at a lower price, which is your stop loss. Okay, so your stop loss is actually a sell stop. Okay, so same thing as the limit uh, order and the take profit order. You do not need to put it in a separate order. You just need to come over to your trading platform. Okay, whatever trading platform you are, just input your stop loss level and your take profit level. Okay, you do not need to s create a separate order uh, to take profit or to exit your trade if you are wrong okay so that's it just a recap okay before i end off just a recap okay a market order is to buy or sell a particular instrument at the current price okay you you are guaranteed to get the trade but uh, you may not get the best price okay a limit order on the other hand uh, is to buy or sell at a better price okay uh, it gives you a good price but you may not get the trade, okay? If price does not trigger your order, uh, you may miss out on the trade, okay? A stop order, on the other hand, is to buy or sell at a worse price, okay? Same thing, uh, you may not get the trade, right? Uh, so you, you want to be very cautious when you're using uh, limit orders or stop orders, okay? So I've come to the end of this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. So just a gentle reminder to get your free day trading guide, okay? Uh, we'll, we'll teach you everything from, you know, it from how to read a candlesticks to using the uh, proprietary trading strategy that we use. Okay, so everything's in the guide. Okay, I hope this video has benefited you. Okay, uh, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.